up all you party people it's King Michael here and tonight we're going to do a quick little video on how to rank up quickly in Fortnite now as you can see I am division 6 and if you're like me you're not necessarily bad at Fortnite but you're not great at it you know I, I can shoot people for days but I'm not the best builder and while I would like to improve my building skills in the meantime you know I want to get to the champion league to play for those as you can see on the screen cash prize tournaments and to be completely honest with you it might seem like it's a daunting task to get to that point especially if you're you know still in the open league but what I'm going to show you in this video is how you can rank yourself up fairly quickly now admittedly this is more true when you're in open league where you know it's it's gonna your your progression through that league is gonna go faster and quicker is gonna require less hype than getting through contender league and so on and so forth but the concept remains the same for the entirety of the video so I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate by getting into a game and then at the conclusion of the game I'm going to show why it works. Now admittedly, just as a disclaimer, it might take one or, uh, one or two tries. I'm not going to guarantee that this is going to work on the first try. For the purpose of this video, I really hope that it does. But we'll find out here in, uh, well, not too long. It's also worth noting that this system, I call it a system, that I run to level up faster is admittedly not the most exciting gameplay. This is not going to be, you know, if you watch some of your mainstream Fortnite guys, um, this is not going to be like what those guys do. This is very different. But the way that I look at it, it, it the purpose of this is to get from the Open League to Contender League champion league so that way you can play for those cash prize tournaments because who doesn't want to play for cold hard cash playing games that they like to play anyway I know I do um, or at least I would and that's what the purpose of this is this is not to produce the most exciting gameplay so what I'm gonna do um, the way that the, the route that the bus is taking is actually making this slightly difficult for me, but I'm gonna go here. Um, I could go over here, but I'm, I'm I'm gonna take my chances and I'm gonna go over here. And the reason I'm gonna do that, and this is true for both of these places, by the way. Um, actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and go over here. The reason that I'm doing this is because it's a point that is far away from the battle bus. But as you can see, like I could go to Coral Castle. And that's pretty far away from the battle bus, but Coral Castle is more likely to end up with a fair amount of people. Same thing with Stealthy Stronghold. So I'm going to go to this fairly isolated place. Actually, did I select the lighthouse? I did select the lighthouse. I wasn't actually trying to select the lighthouse. I was trying to select somewhere else. But you know what? Now that I'm, I'm over here, I may as well... Well, you know what? This can still work. I'm gonna head for that shark's mouth looking thing. So, what I'm doing is I am intentionally putting myself as far away from the battle bus, the route that it was taking, I'm intentionally putting myself as far away from it as I can. And while admittedly I will be missing out on the hype that I would be gaining from getting elims. At the conclusion of this video, I'm going to show you that even despite that, this system will work. Um, it works even better in 
squads mode. And I will also explain why that is at the conclusion of this video. But for now, what I'm doing, and if you notice, the idea here is that I'm alone. So all the loot that's here, like this isn't, you know, this isn't prime loot like what I just picked up, but everything here, theoretically anyway, is going to belong to me should I choose to take it. I'm not competing with anybody. I don't have to worry about anybody coming up on me at this moment in time. It's just me. And, you might even get lucky with one of these really good chests. <laughs> like I just did. That's actually not part of the system. You know, you'll, you'll definitely take it if you can get it. Uh, just like I will. So as you can see, I'm, I'm pretty far away from the circle. This actually isn't a bad thing. I kind of want that, and obviously going into a game, you won't know if you're going to be far away or not. So it is kind of hit and miss as far as that's concerned. I think I'll take that. Well, like you see here, I got a, I got an epic shotgun. Pretty good. I got this blue AR. It's not an AR anymore, but you know. Um, and like I can kind of just mosey around here. I've got 90 shield. I got full health. You know, if I found one more slurp container or a, a half pot, you know, I'd end up with, with full shield. And that's the advantage here is that here again, like I'm not competing with anybody or any of the, uh, uh, anything that I got. This was all mine. I'm kind of being lazy uh, just because I'm, I'm trying to to explain what I'm what I'm doing while I you know I, I do it so I, I am sort of being a little bit lazy I'm not necessarily exploring as thoroughly as I probably could be so I'm, I'm trying to rectify that now I'm stocking up on ammunition because there's nothing worse than getting into a firefight and then realizing you don't have any ammo I would know this this has happened to me on more than one occasion. And now the storm is gonna close in right now. So I obviously need to get a move on. This is just fine. The other advantage too, since I'm so far away from the circle, the likelihood that I'm going to run into somebody at Coral Castle at this point isn't all that great. And that's A-OK. -okay. Fine by me. Remember, the, what we're going for is to maximize hype. Now, if you're good at building, this might not necessarily apply to you because you're not necessarily afraid to get into firefights with people. I Like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm not the greatest at building. I'll own that, you know, seven days a week, 365 days a year, including leap years, so this is a good alternative. I'm still maximizing my hype. And since I have two med kits, obviously I, I don't want to get caught in the storm. You never, you never want to get caught in the storm, obviously. But I have some med kits, so even if I did get caught in the storm, it's not going to be the end of the world for me. And I'm taking sort of a different trajectory because I know by looking at the map, I'm going to end up near the spire. And that's a hotbed. There's going to be, almost guaranteed there's going to be people there. I don't want that. Now, inevitably, towards the end of the game, 
you're, you're gonna run into people, but I want to point something out. Already, there's only 26 people left in the game. 25, you don't include me. And that's really noteworthy, because I'm already really close to... I think it's... I should I should have... Yeah, there it is. Top 25. Look at that. I just gained 60 hype. All I've done is forage. That is the only thing that I have done. And yeah, I'm caught in the storm right now, but like I said, I have med kits. Obviously, you're going to have to plan accordingly. Um, if you don't have that, you know, it depends, obviously, how far out from the circle are you going to be, stuff like that. You know, there's, there's factors that are worth taking into consideration here. But I'm not worried about it. But just by foraging, that's all I've done is forage. And my bus fee for this game, because of my current level, my the rank that I am, um, is 30 hype. So I've already netted 30. And again, I'm, I'm going to explain that in a little bit more detail at the conclusion of this game. Quite a hoof. It is quite a hoof. I think right about... Well, maybe not right now. Yeah, right about now would be a good time to go ahead and take care of this. I don't want to wait until it gets too low. And unfortunately, I'll probably end up going through both of my med kits, but, I mean, it's... It's all right. But the conclusion of this video, I'm really going to get into numbers. And ultimately, that's the thing that really matters, and, that, and, and that's what makes what I'm doing work. Obviously, I'm playing a game of Fortnite. I would love to win. Obviously. Who wouldn't? But, I'm not going to bank on winning. So I have to have an alternative game plan. I, I might actually be able to get out of this storm before I... I oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely make it. I'm going to have to... Uh, Find a little bit of cover, just in case. Or we can just do this. I can just float down the river. It don't matter. This works. Notice I'm, I'm staying on the perimeter, trying to avoid contact, and at the same time, I am heading in the, the right direction that I need to be going into, because I still have quite a hoof, and ooh, ooh, there's a fight going on over there. I'm going to cut through this way now, because that storm is going to start moving soon, and now that I don't have any more med kits, I really don't want to be stuck in it. Even though it's pretty likely that guy, whoever, whoever ends up winning that fight, is gonna, is gonna, you know, do the same thing that I'm doing there. They're gonna head for that circle. And look at that, top 15 now. Haven't done anything special. Haven't done anything crazy. Now they see me. They're they're, they're going to shoot at me. So th this might be where it ends up ending for me. But that's okay though, and I'm going to show why it's okay. All right. So I I got 15th place. 
like I said, I'm, I'm not I'm not the best at building. Otherwise, I would have built. It's also worth noting I'm playing on an Xbox, so I'm not going to be able to, to build as fast as these people that are playing on PC. But nonetheless, 15th place. Th that's ideal. You know, y y you want to get top 25 at minimum. Top 15 for playing uh, solos, like I was, is is really ideal. And of course, anything better than that is like icing on the cake. So now that that's done, I'm going to show why it works. Okay. So. Currently, I need 1,404 hype to get my division rank up. So let's go to division details. We'll go to scoring. So this just shows you, you know, open league. There's no bus fare until you get to division four. Then there's a 10 view. Let's go to where I am in division six. <clears throat> So this is obviously the, the the hype values for everything. If you get an elimination, you're getting plus 20 hype. Um, so just notice the, the the big thing that I'm looking at here is bus fare versus minimum placement to get hype. So at minimum, you need to come in the top 25. Come in the top 25, you're getting some hype. So if all I did that game was come in the top 25, I would still net 30 hype, which isn't a lot, but if you did that over and over and over and over again, you're going to eventually rank up. I came in top 15, 15th place to be exact, so I had 90 hype that game. It cost me 30, so I gained 60 here again. If I just came in 15th place every time, I'm going to gain 60 every time at Division 6. Now obviously, eventually I'll move on to Division 7. Now my bus fare is 40. So coming in top 25, at minimum, is still going to net me 20. Not as much as it was in Division 6, which was netting me 30, but I'm still netting in the positive. If I did the same thing, top 15, I'm going to net 50, so on and so forth. Now, let's say this you keep doing this all the way and you get into Champion League Division number 8. This is where things get a little bit more tricky, because now your bus fare is 60. So, basically, if you were, like, somebody who just, like, you just played a game of Fortnite and you ranked up and you got into the Champion League and you were barely in Division 8, at minimum, you would need, if you didn't get any eliminations, this is not counting eliminations, you would need to get top 25 in every single match to at least maintain your Champion League status. If you got at least top 15, though, now you're gaining 90 hype in that game. It's only costing you 60. So if you consistently came in top 15 and you netted that 30, you're going to eventually rank up. And this is true all the way up until you get to Division 10, where you're going to need to get still you're going to still need to get to the top 15 um, to net anything. This is the only league, by the way, the only division, I should say where reaching top 25 isn't going to be good enough to net you in the positive. It's the only division where you would still be netting negative, assuming you didn't get any elims. Um, and so as a result, you'd, you'd, technically you would need to reach top 15, but you're already at the top of the board anyway. So it doesn't... This doesn't really matter. Then the other thing I, I want you to look at is this. So let's go back to where I'm at. So, this is just a hypothetical. The guy who finishes in 26th place, okay, and he got one elim, isn't going to score as well as the guy who got top 25 and didn't get any elims. Because the guy that finished 26th place with one elim, he got 20 hype for his elim, but his bus fare was 30. So he lost 10 hype as a result of that game. The guy who finished top 25 with zero elims, he just gained 30. He didn't kill anybody, didn't eliminate any anybody, but he netted 30. Now, let's make this a little bit more interesting. Trios. I have a couple of people that I periodically play with. I played with them tonight, as a matter of fact. Let's go into details now. 
the values are still the same, 60 for, um, you know, 60, 30, 30, and then 60 for a uh, victory royale. But as you can notice, the instead of top 25 for trios, it's top 8, top 4, top 2. Each elimination is 7 height. So let's put this in perspective, all right? And by the way, that top 8 is squads. It's not like the last 8 people in the game. It's squads. And that is, you know, both your squad mates can be eliminated. As long as one person from a squad is still in the game, your squad is still alive. All you have to do is get top 8. You get 60 height. That's all you gotta do. So let's put this in perspective. Just in where I'm at, Division 6, Bus fare is still 30. That doesn't change for Division 6. Let's say my squad got 9th. Not, not bad. And we got ninth. And on top of that, we had eight elims. And then there's another squad. And they finished eighth. And they didn't have any elims. Who gains more hype? Because if you're thinking that the answer is the first squad, you'd actually be incorrect. At eight eliminations, finishing ninth. You're going to get that 7 hype per elim. That's going to give you 56 hype. Your bus fare is going to take away 30. So you netted 26. Meanwhile, the squad that finished only 8th place, they didn't have any eliminations, they're going to net 30 hype. You see the trend here. This is a numbers game. I'm not suggesting that going after elims is a bad thing. I highly enjoy eliminating people in a game of Fortnite, I really do. But when it comes down to just ranking yourself up, this is a good way to do it. Like I said, you might be like me, and you might not have great building skills. Maybe you're not really a, a good shooter, You maybe you can build really well, but you, you can't shoot. And when, whenever someone finally finds you in your fort, you're screwed. Maybe you suck at both. This is a good way to level yourself up, like I said, to get yourself in position where you can participate in things like this, the Solo Cash Cup, where you have to be, I mean, I know that this event has ended, but you need to be a Champion League player, so currently I wouldn't be able to participate in that. If I was Champion League, I would. There's a saying that just goes, they don't ask how, and that's all I'm saying right now. Nobody Epic Games is going to ask you, how did you get to Champions League? No one's going to ask you that question. The only thing that anybody's going to really care about is that you're there. One final thought before I wrap up this video. So this is the Fortnite Champions series, okay? And we all know they're going to end up doing more events like this. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm showing this, okay? And this is just an example. So as you see here, each elimination is plus two. As long as you get in the top 17, though, you're getting a point. And you're getting a point every place you get past top 17. So for that match, even without getting any elims, I still would have gained three points. So I would have performed better than any player that got one elim or less, or, you know, didn't finish top 18, if that makes sense. Because if they finished top 18, they didn't have any elims, well, they're not going to end up with anything. Um, there's actually a better e example on here that I'm looking for. I'm not sure if it's, it's here. I saw it the other Yeah, this is it. It's so like this one right here. This is saying if you reach top 70, you get a point. Well, I'm not going to do the math on it, but basically if you look over to the left side of the screen, you see top 15 plus 2. So from that point down to top 70, that's how many points I would have gotten. Um, and then obviously you're going to get 4 for every elim. So that's why I'm not saying that elims are, are bad and that you shouldn't necessarily go for them, but just for the in terms of accruing like points in this case or in this case right here where I'm just playing on my own accruing hype it isn't necessarily the 
worst idea to go run and hide because you're, as long as you finish well enough, you're still going to gain those big time tournaments. Um, and so that's just the point that I'm trying to drive home. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a comment and please subscribe if you are so inclined to do so. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is King Michael just talking a little bit about how to improve your rank in Fortnite. Uh, check back later, but for now, 